Hi students, welcome to the channel. If you like this video, please click the like button, share and subscribe. In this video, I am explaining the value of trigonometric ratios in the third quadrant. That is from 180 degree to 270 degree. We can get these values. So now let us see how these values are obtained. So consider a Cartesian plane. Let us uh, divide the Cartesian plane into two coordinate axes, x axis and y axis. Now on this uh, Cartesian plane, consider a unit circle. Unit circle means the radius of the circle is one unit. Now here consider a point OP. Let us say that consider a ray, fixed line ray on the circle. And let us say that this particular ray OP is moving on the circle. While moving at some point A, here it produces an angle theta. So here we have an angle theta. And now here if I draw a perpendicular then I can get a right angle triangle ABO. So here we have a right angle triangle. For this now we can apply the trigonometric ratios. Now here we need to find out the value of trigonometric ratios from 180 degree to 270 degree. So first let us see 180 degree case and then 270 degree case. See here uh, this particular line if I bring backward here like this way then the angle may be over here and then perpendicular may be over here then again if I bring back this particular point here then the angle may be created over here and the perpendicular may be over here so you can see that here as I move backward this point then the perpendicular length is decreasing slowly and uh, here not only that one here the base whatever we have here the base length is increasing so here at some point that is 180 degree we have let us say that here we have some 180 degree 181 degree or 182 degree at this point if you see here the perpendicular is the smallest value and the base is the largest value that means here when the line when this point is over here 180 degree then completely the base is nothing but the radius of the circle the maximum value of base here we will get and perpendicular is, is equal to 0 here so we can say that base is equal to 1 and perpendicular is equal to 0 but here I have taken here negative sign you can see that the reason is that here base is located on the x axis that is negative x axis. So that is the reason I am writing here minus b or minus. So that is minus 1 we can say. Next here perpendicular see perpendicular means this is parallel to the y axis and this y axis is the negative y axis. So that is why even though perpendicular is a positive value but this is parallel to the negative y axis. So I am writing here minus p. So here it is 0 in this case it is 0 so we are not writing here minus 0 just we write here 0 but perpendicular is a negative um, y axis uh, parallel so that is why I will write here minus p. Then hypotenuse hypotenuse is always 1 that is nothing but the radius of the circle see in this case it is 1 so if you move here like this way backward then almost wherever it is this particular point this uh, this value is always 1 only at this point here the value this hypotenuse is uh, equal to the base here in this case so hypotenuse is 1 base is also 1 but here you have to take the negative value next here let us see the 270 degree case See here now you just uh, move forward this point. For example let us say that the point is over here. Then if you try to create an angle here then perpendicular is over here. Then again if you bring again forward this point then here the angle is created over here and the perpendicular is over here. So you can see that here the perpendicular is increasing. Perpendicular length is increasing and the base value is decreasing. So here at some point let us say that the angle is some 268, uh, 268 degree. In that case see almost here the angle may be here over here and now in this case it you will try to draw the perpendicular that is the largest value and the base value is the smallest value. That means at this point at uh, 270 degree the perpendicular is almost equal to the y axis almost equal to the hypotenuse that is the radius of the circle and base value is equal to 0. Base value is equal to 0. So here the base value is 0 and perpendicular is equal to the hypotenuse which is 1. But here as I said you this one here 
here see p perpendicular is parallel to the negative y axis so that's why this is minus p so i'm writing here minus 1 next hypotenuse is 1 only always and base is also here negative value only even though here it is 0 but if you consider the smallest value like some uh, 2 69 degree angle then in that case it is some 0 point something so you can put the negative sign here so minus b it is and this is minus p and hypotenuse hypotenuse is equal to 1 only see even if you uh, the, the point is over here here if the point is over here that time in that uh, case also this is uh, this one this one become hypotenuse which is 1 only if the point is over here then this one become hypotenuse which is 1 only so here at this point also the hypotenuse is and perpendicular are equal so hypotenuse is equal to 1 for hypotenuse the sign is always plus only as this is the radius of the circle so now we got the value of uh, base hypotenuse and uh, perpendicular let us uh, see the value of uh, the trigonometric functions See, first we have sine. Sine means perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So, perpendicular is 0, 0 upon hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, that is 1. See, here, whenever we have, even though this is a negative y-axis, whenever we have 0, then no need to consider the sine. 0 means directly we can write without sine. So, I am just taking here 0 only. 0 upon 1. Hypotenuse is 1. 0 upon 1, that is 0 itself. Then next, again here, for the 270 degree, it is perpendicular. Perpendicular is minus 1 here, minus 1 upon hypotenuse, that is 1. Minus 1 upon hypotenuse, uh, upon 1, that is, is equal to minus 1. That means sine value is decreasing from 0 to minus 1. Next here we have cos. Cos is base upon hypotenuse. But here base is the negative value that you have to keep in your mind. Because we are on the negative x axis. So base upon hypotenuse. Base is here. 1 only but here minus we have so that's why I am taking here minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 upon that is hypotenuse that is is equal to 1 only so minus 1 upon 1 that is is equal to uh, that is uh, is equal to minus 1 then next base upon hypotenuse for 270 degree base is 0 here then hypotenuse is 1 so here 0 upon 1 see 0 upon 1 here no need to take the negative sign as we have here 0 so 0 upon 1 that is 0 itself so here cos value is increasing from minus 1 to 0 the next we have tan tan is perpendicular upon base Perpendicular upon base, perpendicular value is 0 here, 0, then upon base, base is 1, but here negative axis, so I have taken here minus 1, so 0 upon minus 1, 0 upon minus 1, that is 0 itself. Then for 270 degree, it is perpendicular, perpendicular is minus 1 upon base, base is 0 here, so minus 1, 0, here also, uh, no need to consider this particular uh, sign here, just uh, you can write here 1. 1 1 upon 0 so 1 upon 0 which is like uh, it is uh, not defined which is infinity but here we have to see whether it's a plus infinity or negative infinity see uh, when we have a zero value that time no need to consider the sign but uh, when we have a infinity or other values you have to consider the sign so now here see we have one perpendicular is one and base is zero one upon zero is infinity but you can see that the perpendicular is a negative which is, which is located on the negative y axis and base is also lo located on the negative y axis so minus minus that means here this become plus so this is plus infinity you have to use here so we can say that tan increases from 0 to infinity next here cot cot that is the base upon perpendicular base upon perpendicular see for uh, 180 degree base is 1 and perpendicular is uh, 0 so here we have uh, uh, base is 1 and 0 but here base as well as perpendicular both are negative so that's why this one become plus infinity so for this we have plus infinity next again for 270 degree base upon perpendicular base is uh, 0 and perpendicular is 1 but here we have we are on the negative axis here this is minus this is minus see here uh, 0 upon 1 0 upon 1 is 0 itself then next here we get uh, and here this value is decreasing from infinity to 0. Next we have sac, sac value, hypotenuse upon base. Hypotenuse is 1 itself and base is a negative value which is 1 minus 1. So 1 upon minus 1 that is, is equal to minus 1. 
Then for a 270 degree hypotenuse upon base, hypotenuse is 1, then upon uh, that is base is 0. So 1 upon 0, 1 upon 0 is a uh, is equal to infinity but here the base is negative so you have to consider minus infinity minus infinity so sac value decreases from minus 1 to minus infinity next we have cosac cosac is hypotenuse upon perpendicular hypotenuse is 1 and uh, perpendicular is 0 but here it is on the negative y axis so you have to consider here minus so 1 upon 0 that is uh, infinity and here we have for perpendicular negative sign minus so minus infinity the next we have uh, for 270 degree hypotenuse upon perpendicular hypotenuse is 1 and perpendicular is uh, minus 1 so 1 upon minus 1 that is is equal to minus 1 so here this value cos that value increases from minus infinity to minus 1 see wherever you have 0 then no need to consider the sign but just you keep in your mind that the perpendicular as well as base both have here negative sign the reason is that perpendicular and base are located on the see this base is located on the negative x axis so minus b i am writing and perpendicular is parallel to the negative y axis so that's why I am writing here minus p. So, by that way you can get this value. So, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and CRT Maths Tutor to get more regular updates. Thanks for watching.